very warm welcome. I'm Dominika Kavalerowicz and I'm of uh, Wrocław uh, 2016. This is our last meeting as part of uh, City and Culture sort of closing and a new opening. Closing By closing, we mean the evaluation of the European Capital of Culture. We are closing of the two years of working on the evaluation and the appraisal or assessment of uh, ECOC. Agata Edmanovic will be chairing this uh, Debate, facilitating debate. Uh, Agata was involved in the application of Wood some time ago. But you are a well travelled lady. You are looking at different, um, uh, different uh, capitals of, uh, capital of culture. Uh, you have a sharp tongue, uh, you're structured. So you guarantee the best quality. Uh, Mr. Dudkiewicz at 7 p.m. will have to leave us. Uh, we excuse him because it's his wedding anniversary. So if we want to stay longer, we'll be staying. Can I say something? Now, before you start officially, just the impact of ECOC. Uh, this is the uh, uh, for COSA, uh, Melania Kozinska certificate uh, was Melania Ko uh, Kozinska was conceived at the time of the European Capital of Culture in Wrocław. Her certificate gives her the right to use culture free of charge forever, or her li a lifetime certificate for the young lady. Uh, hello, hello, or good evening, Friday night, and I, I think we've exhausted the subject, and uh, the audience appears to be exhausted as well, but I, we are very happy to have you here to discuss the impact of the ECOC. Let me introduce our panelist, uh, Robert Piaskowski, the head of the Krakow Festival Office, uh, Professor Katarzyna Kajdanek, as you may know, is the author or co-author of most of uh, the surveys uh, carried out in Wrocław. She's the best source of what happened. Krzysztof Main, General uh, Director of the EC, um, ECOC Office, Rafał Dudkiewicz, Mayor of Wrocław. No further words required. Uh, we've been talking about success, and it uh, seemed the propaganda of success. But let's talk about what went wrong. We have one hour, so learning lessons. Uh, perhaps not uh, what went wrong, but uh, room for improvement rather than all. Oh, uh, my uh, grandmother would obviously repeat, learn from your own mistakes or mistakes the others. We prefer to talk of our successes rather than imperfections. What is a success? What does success mean and how did you measure success? Um, Let's start with uh, uh, with success, and then we will move on to to imperfections or failures. I don't want to define success because our evaluation was not about measuring success. Let me start with this: what we measured were we successful in measuring that was the impact of ECOC. ECOC, 
or European capital of culture. We declined it in different ways. Uh, our understanding of uh, the success of ECOC uh, was rather specific, particular. We wanted to see the impact on the social context. What we meant was that the exceptional year of 2016, or maybe a while earlier, the presence of culture was above standard. Jacek Pluta, a colleague of mine, usually says that the demand, uh, the supply supply, sorry, supply um, of culture was extremely high. We enjoyed more culture in Wrocław. And our question was about the response of the residents of Wrocław, where there is an abundance, a plethora of um, culture, and the city seemed to live and uh, live on culture. So uh, what would it mean in terms of the identity of Vratislavians and uh, transformation, and how can it change or influence uh, the cultural offer of the city? So back to the question, what does success mean, or what is success? We could say success means the ECOC would actually attain all the objectives and all the goals or lead to all the, um, the implementations that would provide the deliverables as we planned it in the program uh, document. And I, uh, I would like to make a few comments. Uh, quite recently, I attended a wedding of the daughter of the SLD um, chairman, and, she, and he gave her piece of advice, said, don't ask too much, because you'll find out the truth. Uh, don't ask, so that would be my feeling about it. Don't ask too much, because we will find out things. In order in addition to what you've just said, the application, the written one, uh, is very important. This is a record. We write an application in order, we wrote this application to win a contest. In a certain context, we uh, were supposed to win it, so we were writing this application. So the application is not the the one and only document, uh, the panel from the European Commission advised us on certain things. And please bear in mind, this application was developed before year 2011. In 2016, we hosted, uh, or the ECC uh, happened. So with this very dynamic world around, in year 2016, we were far more ahead of what we had thought about the, our ambitions and our plans in 2011. So um, how did it happen is the question. Many things were not completed. We could have had uh, more events. We could have uh, developed a better or bigger infrastructure. There were plans. Not everything uh, was attained. But I'm not a sociologist, so I probably uh, lack the language apparatus, uh, linguistic apparatus. Uh, many people, uh, and I usually host about more than 2,000 uh, meetings over one year. Lots of people say, when they see me, that they feel new energy. And uh, there are many people who say that there's, there's a new tradition or a new custom. In the old Philharmonics, uh, we could seat uh, 480 
people and we had 180 um, concerts, no, not everything sold out. We've got 560 events in the new National Forum of Music and uh, 1,800 uh, seats and we sell out. Uh, uh, and the other thing, uh, the uh, cultu cultural operators or operators of culture simply um, opened up and understood that their institutions had uh, the uh, social and um, uh, uh, and cultural function, but they have an important role for the community, and this is our progress. So, from Czarzasty up to the concerts. Well, I've never mentioned the application. I know uh, the way it was written. I know that Professor Chmielewski, so you, uh, you think it was good writing, yes. It was very uh, specific. I was referring to the book, the program book, um, uh, Design Places of Beauty. We wanted to start the evaluation from somewhere to find a starting point. It was a very serious process. We, if we had uh, based or referred to the application, that would have been way too difficult, but this book, this book, uh, The Designed Places of Beauty, um, was certainly something good to begin with. Uh, we will be back to what you've just said about the different dimensions and different aspects of the uh, European Capital of Culture in Wrocław. Uh, we want to start with the narrative, the narrative uh, that flows from the institutions of culture. We have one survey, one report by Eva Banaszek, Terra Incognita. Uh, it took her 12 months of the European Capital of Culture to complete it. She based it on various interviews uh, with the organizers and operators of culture and the people engaged in the ECOC. Um, what happened or what didn't happen, there were a number of difficulties or number of contradictions that were not resolved. How to, for example, find a compromise or an agreement uh, uh, between uh, centralization of culture, uh, festivalization, non-festivalization of culture, the local dim dimension of culture and the culture that will go beyond this local dimension. Um, excuse me, no, I, I'm sorry, uh, the operators of culture, or the, those people who come over to talk to you, they always say about positive sides of, um, of the ECOC, but there are still a number of contradictions and conflict in the Wrocław field of culture. My role is pretty challenging. I am the facilitator, and I should not be commenting on things. I think that the application, you can view the application in a different way. Uh, it depends how we approach it. It is a document, and actually this is the crowning of the application. It's the final record, the final document in writing to be presented or submitted to the uh, to the Commission. Uh, success is a measure. We need to know our benchmark and how to measure it. Uh, you said, Mr. Dutkiewicz, that we could have had uh, more events in the number, but you also mentioned a change in people, and you highlight this, which is excellent. Is it quantity or quality, and how to measure, or where is the benchmark? Krzysztof, you. Uh, from my point of view, uh, 
the most important success is the energy and the change in the institutions. Uh, you look at it in terms of uh, budgets because they're probably um, twisting your wrist about more money. After ECOC, the expectations are graded. But there are conflicts, and it, it, the, the conflicts are reflected by the representatives of, of the institutions. Uh, the conflicts, tensions, were um, inevitable. Uh, for, for example, 40 years with festivals, and suddenly we want to de-festivalize everything, not to do the festival, just to go to the outskirts of the city, the suburbs, and oh, the outskirts of the city, and 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 make culture there. Um, suddenly. Uh, what became uh, obvious that uh, the somehow uh, communal act activities have a bigger impact. Um, uh, we can announce them, we can advertise them, work workshop. This is the greatest value, but it's very difficult uh, that four years of making promises and one year of execution uh, should uh, actually bring about the result. So, what went wrong? Uh, year 2014, let's cast our minds back, uh, learning uh, from the sort of mistakes, we were anticipating a, a sort of attack two years before, prior to um, the year of the ECOC. And this attack was launched. We knew we had to stand our ground to get prepared. We got some blows, bad blows or punches uh, on one field, on one flank. But when you think about COC, it's a mechanism, and there are clogs, and uh, uh, there are wheels, the main wheel, the decision, and the money were, uh, was received pretty late. And then everything went OK. For example, communication from the others. We know that two years before the event, an attack would be launched. And we knew about it, we got prepared, and we also anticipated the tensions between the local authorities and um, artistic communities or creative communities, because expectations or uh, plans were different. Those tensions, and sometimes there were changes um, uh, in, in, in various functions and roles, uh, we were getting uh, ready, but communication didn't go very well. Uh, let me show it on an example. I use an example. And, uh, the institution of, of culture seems to be coming back. The ins institutions of culture uh, well, the, uh, the heads of the institution of culture usually approach me for more money. Wrocław was the first city among the uh, European capitals of culture to introduce architecture as one of the leading themes, leading threads. The Museum of Architecture was one of the least frequented museums. The expenditure per a visitor was the highest figure among the museums. Just, it was pretty un understandable. Exhibition or any events they do are usually more expensive. But we... Um, succeeded in very good audience, very good audiences, numbers of audiences, and with excellent number of people and excellent debates, not only before the event, before, uh, but then during the event, we, we saw that uh, people were in want of this type of discussion, that people needed, and that's brilliant that, that we we, we raise this topic. Then institution, non-institution. One third of, Vro of the Wrocław schools got involved into the ECOC. Uh, one of them, uh, sorry, some of them uh, 
for doing things superficially, some sort of in-depth. One third of my officers, my staff in the uh, mayor's office and the municipality were committed, I mean, delegated to do that. The same is true about um, state councils. So. And the, sa the same was true about the festival, uh, festival uh, office. And this draft, this uh, popular conscription was, uh, was something very good. The European capital of culture itself is not really, it's a being, but not really defined. Um, because it is not defined, you can do it in different things, in different ways. If it, because it's not defined, expectations uh, will also differ. And uh, some, there will be different expectations to be made. Some people love um, huge concerts, mass concerts. The others want something more private uh, in parks. Some people would advocate uh, for the festivals that uh, they've been doing so far. Some people want the balance uh, to strike the balance and to attain the sense of completion and satisfaction, fulfillment, is rather difficult. As you may know that high emotions accompany, the high passion would accompany this. You've been very inspirational, Mayor uh, Dudkiewicz. Uh, but Krzysztof um, has also mentioned that, and we can ha somehow combine the two, uh, the two themes. It shows the complexity of the European capital um, uh, of culture. You, Krzysztof, said, uh, mentioned the kicks and punches that uh, you were taking on, on your chest. Uh, uh, but you can remember, and that was before before the event, when uh, we were meeting for the interview, group interview with or focus groups uh, with the residents in March, uh, uh, people asked would ask question about the beginning uh, beginning of the COC. Uh, they still were not certain if the event had already uh, happened. I'm not complaining about communication, but it's very challenging to effectively communicate this um, difficult, uh, um, very, uh, very difficult um, product. You, we, we can see that there is no flow of communication and information between or among uh, these circles. So this is pretty complex. And the next thing, this uniqueness and phenomenon of the Archi uh, Museum, of Ar Museum of Architecture. Um, the um, uh, curator of uh, ECOC managed to elevate the museum up to the level, uh, the sort of unheard of level. Uh, and this is something beyond ECOC, because how can we separate the um, activities of the curator from the process, the process that has been developing in, uh, in uh, Poland. Uh, Paweł Kubicki described that process, and you can pick up a book about it in the lobby, uh, that was um, exploring the urban identity, uh, exploring Exploring urban identity in Wrocław is going back to the urban fabric. It goes a long way. I think uh, the two phenomena uh, probably uh, combine together. 
Okay, but the comments that I want to to make uh, aim at showing that there is an incontinuous development. 2016 allowed us to to make a jump uh, forwards, and that's why we were striving to get uh, the ECC to sort of uh, load ourselves faster within one year. With Jarek Broda and Jarek Obremski, we discussed it, and uh, this is what we need, because the relation of the city of Wrocław, uh, we have had this strategy for years. When I started working in Wrocław, the culture budget was 47, 45 million, now it's uh, 150 million. Sorry, I, I know it's a simplification, but I want to show that uh, we had an idea to develop uh, the city. Uh, but relatively early, we also came up with the idea that if we wanted to develop faster, we needed to find something special. And this special thing in our thinking about the city was the ECC. Now, once again, by the way, I'm very talkative today. I th I said it, it 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 was a product that was not defined enough. But this is this is a fantastic tool that the European Commission has, and the European Commission does not even notice that they have this fantastic tool. They have noted sometimes like how oh, that cities were very important. Normally they would say they would talk about the regional development, but now uh, people want to live in the cities, which is which has good and bad uh, sides to it. And the, the, the tool, which is the European uh, Capital of Culture, could be better used uh, by the European Commission. Honestly, however, I have the impression when I talk to the guys over there in Brussels, they don't know how to do it. Then they are a little bit afraid to, to do it. Uh, the ECC, however, could be useful for this purpose. It is a good tool showing how you can develop the, the, the urban character in our region where the main book relates to, uh, this book relates to the, um, <laughs> oh right, this is the, the Polish national uh, epos pan Tadeusz. There are many threads here. If I were to talk about all of them, this is super interesting. What you have just said, Maya, you said uh, it was like uh, uh, loading up uh, when you took over, you started thinking about it jointly. I can, that you, this was a sort of strategy. I can tell you an anecdote. When the competition started, application competition started, when when it started, I went to the former Ministry of Culture, Bogdan Zdrojewski, and I said, listen, maybe you have a state strategy of thinking about it. Maybe you would like to, I don't know, maybe in the Upper Silesia. Maybe this should be in Upper Silesia. Maybe you would like to spend uh, state money into a, an industrial city and to transform it, transfigure it. And then you t just tell me if you have this state strategy, national strategy, okay? Because if you do the normal competition, I will win. And then he says, okay, just try it. And you will not be successful anyway. And he motivated me so much. Coming back, referring to it, it's, it's really interesting because in the majority of cities this was exactly the other way around. In the majority of those, uh, not in all of them, this was a grassroots movement and uh, it started long before the application uh, uh, was started to be prepared. Then there was the trauma, and here Joy, the trauma that, they, that many cities had to manage And, well, I, I'm curious uh, how it came about. I mean, there was no strategy, this is what you're saying. This was not a part of the strategy because, well, from the very beginning, from the old ages, so to say, we, we, we were saying that the strongest pillar for the urban character of the city for Wrocław was the culture and that we would have to raise the expenditure on culture in Wrocław and that we were supposed to try it in the better and better way. This was the best lever for Wrocław. 
However, for, 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 for the Wrocław culture, for the application, well, the strategy, the strategy is one of the results of, of the whole process. I think there was trauma after winning the, the, the competition. The problem with the notion of culture, it seems to me that it consists in the problem that I understand as uh, different frictions internally between different circles in Wrocław. The problem results from the fact that all of them use the notion of culture, but the understanding of uh, this notion is different. I don't want to instrumentalize culture as such, but they imagine that culture would serve different purposes, very different purposes, very contrary sometimes. Another question uh, on, on the definitions. If I may, I. I I will not ask about Krakow. I just want to ask about your experience, but uh, transforming it to Wrocław and to trying to find out what was happening, because you don't have this trauma. Uh, you have KBF and 2000 uh, as a heritage. Uh, could you see it? Could uh, you sort of uh, envision what kind of uh, ECC Wrocław was supposed to be from outside? Uh, because the ECC projects are different. Uh, they, they were different. They were industrial. They were otherwise. Could you, could you feel the, the tensions? Uh, the tensions are always there, the tensions between the circles. But could you feel them? I think that the tensions and the conflicts uh, are a precondition for development and they constitute, I mean, they, 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 they bring about the success of the ECC and uh, the, the success of the ECC is permanently negotiated between the stakeholders. This is the field where the forces would regroup. From the perspective of my city of Krakow, I, I think, well, we were we were considering, I mean, we were writing letters and uh, we created contributions to, to those letters and responses, uh, whether Krakow should start again, because these ideas emerged uh, in the city. Some journalists um, uh, said uh, that uh, the, the authorities were not uh, able enough to win, so we should try it again. Uh, these were public opinions opinions voiced publicly, but we were sure it didn't make sense and uh, we uh, were advanced uh, in other processes and you would have to redefine the heritage of the ECC and to come back to the values from before that which uh, were seemingly wasted and after, uh, we, maybe it's hardly imaginable for you, but uh, there are only very few photographs and documents and audio uh, recordings left. Uh, the archives are very poor from that time. That was the time uh, before the internet and the European context uh, was very different. Internet like today on smartphones and so on, that was not there. It was about constructing a certain narrative about Krakow as a city, a specific city in the middle of Europe that uh, has something to present, to contribute to the European civilization, but we were rather thinking about the Western civilization and not so much about the European civilization as a whole. From our point of view, from my point of view mainly, uh, what was the most interesting was to restore the complex memory of Wrocław. And from the uh, perspective of uh, of uh, talking about the influx of, uh, of people, talking from the perspective of the contemporary inhabitants uh, of, uh, of Wrocław, not only those uh, who came here after the war, uh, but uh, who grew up here in this complex situation with antagonisms, I, I think the message was very strong. Krakow was much more optimistic because this uh, wave of, of optimism, optimism connected with uh, 
the accession to European Union was combined with the EEC com ECC competition. Well, uh, now about uh, you know wasting uh, this. This is something that is criticised um, in terms of the ECC ECCs. Uh, sometimes they say that this is a marketing mandate, a mandate that supports uh, the present uh, government, that these competitions are an engine to renew the city and then to exploit it uh, uh, for tourism. This happened in Krakow as well. And the other aspects uh, of the CCC, well, the popularity of Krakow measured uh, uh, at the number of tourists, at the, at, at the increase of the number of tourists from 2010, from, from then to, to, to today, uh, well, there is a permanent increase uh, and uh, then uh, the office of uh, the city said uh, we should do something more popular, not only Penderecki, not only Vajda, not only Kantor or Szymborska. So there were two forces that clashed uh, because those two forces didn't shape uh, the program of the ECC in parallel, as it was the case in Wrocław. I also think that uh, the program of the ECC cannot be only directed to the relations, uh, oriented to on the relations between the cultural circ uh, circles. This has to be part of a bigger sustainable development program. It has to be oriented to ecology, uh, which in uh, uh, Krakow is still a very strong problem and without the involvement of the institutions of culture it will not be possible. Culture is a vehicle to change the social awareness, to, 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 to get the social change. This cannot be um, a shortcut, it has to be a negotiated process and uh, it, sh it always shows the dynamics uh, between the center and the peripheries, the central institutions, strong, well-funded uh, institutions and the NGOs, independent organizations. Uh, so far, Krakow has not restored its cultural link with Nova Huta, with one of the, of the biggest centers uh, uh, of culture there. So that's our challenge for the upcoming years. It's important what will happen now as a process that we will be able to evaluate only after 10 years, like in Krakow. So we transferred the effects of the ECC into other programs and uh, what uh, is uh, a reflection in Katowice or Gdańsk uh, in the cities who, which applied for the title on, and who, who went for a very modern strategic thinking involving uh, the inhabitants into the process. This can be fantastically seen in the, in the urban planning process in Gdańsk or in transforming uh, the industrial city into a creative city in Katowice. The, what, what we did, we applied for the creative city in the field of literature. This was, uh, for some, it, is, it may be self-evident, this is a, a creative uh, uh, field, uh, but some say we have Vaida, we have Penderecki in music. Uh, so we very uh, conscientiously went for the tradition of the city, uh, for the literature. Not only because we have uh, Nobel Prize laureates there, but uh, it was also about the features of uh, Krakow inhabitants uh, being the recipients of culture, having this deep thinking about the city. And this, this was a complete departure from the marketing-like thinking about the cult culture. We changed our thinking about festivals. We have 50. And we said, why? Only 15 are international in their nature and only five are global. So how can we together create uh, the image of a city of culture as organizers of festivals? How can we manage it uh, in a collegial way? How can we measure the force of festivals uh, uh, when talking about festival laws and uh, uh, you know this this phenomenon, uh, how can we measure this? Because this market uh, uh, gives impetus uh, to the city uh, in the field of culture. So I think I think uh, from this critical approach to ECC to the ECC and to the effects afterwards that it is only a machine a vehicle to develop the city uh, touristically. 
we came to thinking about keeping the, 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 the character of the city, keeping the bookshops uh, in the traditional spaces. Uh, now we are coming back to our roots, to the roots of the thinking uh, uh, to, uh, of our applicants uh, to the ECC. There was uh, no uh, cooperation with other ECC cities like Reykjavik, Compostela, although we had this title together and we are now recovering uh, this cooperation through the Creative City Network. We have a strong cooperation with Reykjavik, Brussels, Prague, but not with Helsinki, Bergen or Santiago de, Co de Compostela. We don't have any cooperation with them. May I have two comments? Uh, as for the Krakow project, this uh, had been uh, a, a model for us, and uh, this is with respect that we look at this. But if you compare the budgets, the, the budgetary comparison is the best uh, comment uh, to the saying that Poland is in ruins. The scale of the project in 2016 in Wrocław was possible thanks to 2004 that we accessed the European Union and thanks to the fact that Poland as a country has uh, 1,000 years, but it has grown significantly. That's the first comment. And the second comment to what you have just said, very many persons knew that beforehand, but many understood it only during the application for the ECC and particularly strongly in 2016. And I'm one of the persons who understood this phenomenon uh, only then. Uh, what I mean is a certain beautiful utopia that we wanted to reach. A, a, a utopia, I'm using the word utopia, although the status that I'm going to tell you about is reachable. The development of the humankind uh, has brought about a situation that you can think about phenomenon like this. Previously, we were talking about life being concentrated very much, very strongly in the cities. And the Utopia is um, the attempt to combine the city with nature. People who want to live in the cities, which are the creations of culture and living through culture, people at the same time are more and more aware and they expect more and more strongly to see more, more greenery and this uh, rising awareness and the developing technology means that to reach this status, to reach the utopia uh, ceases to be impossible and uh, you know this complementary thinking culture in sustainable development this was the way of thinking that started in many heads in Wrocław, also including my head in 2016. And this is a very important effect of the ECC. I have the impression, because we are talking about the effects, uh, uh, I can uh, now ask uh, Professor maybe about the effects we will be talking only in, let's say, maybe not 16 years, but uh, in five years. We are demonstrating these very splendid figures. They look beautiful, starting from the number of volunteers involved through the inhabitants uh, participating in uh, social uh, projects like microgrants or uh, my neighborhood, uh, other ways of involving people passively and actively. So um, it looks good. And the indicators, if you use the indicators, you can say that uh, doubling the participation in, the, in culture has been reached. However, has it? And this is the question to Katarzyna. Has it really? Is this participation or is it uh, uh, well, what has changed? What kind of potential effects can it, can it have? This over-participation, participation versus over-participation. Participation. So what can happen? What kind of conclusions do you draw about this from your research? The question about shall we have, um, I mean, um, have more events Bring, brought about the situation that we participate more and more. 
the higher input, uh, does it mean more participation? No. Oh, well, it's, it's a dispute. The answer is maybe a little bit more complica complicated. Uh, the, the bigger number of uh, events uh, expanded the participation in culture very modestly only. Based on our research, it shows uh, that uh, there is the, the, the sociology, sociological principle that certain traits of ours as participants of, of the society, of certain societal uh, segments, they have much more impact on the way how we participate, much more than the number of events. I mean, guys with higher education or people in the, let's say, more active age, I, I don't want to sound uh, uh, sort of badly, but after 55, the participation in this age category, 55 to 70, the participation went down. The, the material situation, the financial situation, which was seen as poor, excluded you from culture. Also, in the gender era, uh, the category of sex had also a very strong influence. In certain categories of events, the number of women exceeded by many percentage points uh, the, the percentage of men, by many folds. So, you, you have to say that what is called in sociology status positions of the participants of cultural events influences strongly or moderates or shapes the way of participating in culture. So we could say based on our research that there are quite distinctive zones. Culture of women, for example. This culture of women is different because this means participation in workshops, in events involving children. Completely different is the, the culture of, uh, of the youth. This involves events, festivals, uh, experiencing certain things with uh, your group of friends. Uh, completely different is the culture of the well-off uh, and well-educated people. They attend everything. One of the effects that we observed uh, during the ECC year is the effect that uh, I would call using the Holy Bible. That's the sound, uh, Mat uh, sound Mateus, uh, uh, yeah. uh, Well, the thing is more complex. Um, the reports count uh, many hundred pages, not without reason. But those who, before the year of ECC, were competent enough to use culture and who had resources to do it, they did it without any limitation. And uh, the ECC year was an uninterrupted feast where they traveled, you know, using different uh, foods, uh, devoting themselves to different conversations with different people that they met at this feast, feast, so to say, those who, were to, who didn't feel prepared uh, for the participation, because, you know, the, the, the work on, on, on the audience is a long year period, and they didn't feel that they were well off enough to participate. They didn't use this yearly feast to the same degree as the first group. And this is what I'm quoting. I'm quoting those two examples, uh, extreme examples. Of course, on the other hand, you need to say that uh, comparison um, has this uh, shortcoming that it has, it, it relates only to a certain measurement that was done during the ECC year and uh, our reference point, our typical practice of, uh, of the free time in our, from our research in 2014, from the social diagnosis. We are not patient enough. We want to know now whether there is any effect of the ECC, but let us be patient. 
some time has to flow and I think certain reactions, social reactions that may ensue as a result of, uh, of a very undistinguished participation in culture because there might be some time to talk about the inhabitants, the, the participants and the respondents at the same time, who, who they were. We didn't know, maybe there was a, a person Mm, there was a person traveling uh, by tram and uh, he was uh, spoken to by the yellow canary. Uh, this was an action in April, around April, when we celebrated the European uh, capital of literature and the granting of this title to Wrocław, the yellow canary would, uh, would give you books instead of, uh, of uh, penalties for... Uh, uh, for stowawaying, but uh, may maybe this was an effect, maybe not. We need time to check it, uh, even if there is a slight change, but then inscribing it, uh, allocating it as a consequence of the meeting uh, with, with this yellow canary. This, this, this is really obscure, this is not really clear. From what I hear, uh, it's much more interpretation than, than figures. Uh, you haven't quoted actually any figures. Uh, I don't want to dispute with you, I just want to or quarrel with you, I just want to, to discuss and to exchange views. We agree here. We will see by the end of the 17, 2018, 2019. Secondly, I remember uh, talking to the mayor of Sibiu, uh, the, the, Sibiu the, the president of Romania now. Sibiu is a very good example of the ECC in Europe. And he said that uh, in their case, there was the effect that in some year, I can't remember now, that there was a jump. And after two years, it went down and then it, uh, it recovered. I mean, the participation in culture, measured very simply, which means changing the customs and the frequency of, uh, of visiting uh, theaters, museums, or libraries. And the third remark of mine is, I started the discussion by quoting the example of, uh, of the National Forum of Music in, uh, in, uh, in versus the former uh, Philhar Philharmonic Theater. And, you can go there several times to, and you will see that uh, people attend. You can, you can see that they have never been in any, in any uh, philharmony. And now they started attending. And uh, the National Forum of Music is one of the, of the effects of the ECC. Of course, we had been preparing for the opening of the National Forum of Music uh, 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 because we knew that uh, space uh, was necessary and so we opened uh, new musical classes and a, a, a new musical school and that the orchestra, orchestras playing there, performing there uh, were at a much higher level. But I persist strongly among the audience that comes to the National Forum of Music, 1,500 of those, 1,700, there are many who are not connoisseurs going to the former uh, Forum of Music of 480 seats. I talk to the people and I, I, I know it uh, from their reactions. So this effect of filling in and uh, more frequency, a better frequency, this we experience in many places. Before 2016, we didn't have this phenomenon of uh, tickets selling so fastly and uh, that there was uh, such a big need to sort of, you know, to to handle this under the table, so to say. My son uh, said that it was really very difficult to get tickets for different enterprises. So in terms of the frequency of the intensity, I mean, of, of, of the number of audience, I would look for different interpretations. I think you can disagree with the numbers, uh, you can discuss about the methodology, but uh, I have one question, whether it is really so. Uh, the National Forum of Music is, uh, has the, f the effect of freshness, the effect of the ECC, uh, well, in the making, so to say. This was during the ECC that it happened. But my question goes 
I, I touched upon this feast for connoisseurs, of course. But you, you should see it much wider. This is what I wanted to express uh, using the example of uh, NFM, National Forum of Music. Right, we, we are talking, talking to similar people like us and uh, we need some time to check whether it has really happened, whether the audience has changed really, whether their participation in culture has changed. But uh, for this we need a plan because uh, the research is expensive, it's not uh, uh, cheap uh, and that's a question of, um, of a habit. Uh, of um, researching, of examining uh, the audience uh, by by the by the authorities, but uh, NGOs, you need money for this, and you need to be willing to uh, uh, um, carry out such examinations. Uh, if if uh, the facilities do not have this willingness to get to know the preferences of their audiences, and the question is whether there is any place for this, uh, for, for, for this funds and for the strategy, in the strategy that you are working on. I'm not sure whether you've budgeted for it, whether you've allowed um, anything on the budget. Let me reply in a straight forward uh, manner. I can't really go into this ex degree of detail. It's pretty clear to me that an amount of money allocated to uh, cult the cultural space in Wrocław must be increased regularly or gradually, and this is all up to the team, the team led by Krzysztof. You need to learn a couple of skills, but as a man, as a city steward, if you like, I need to manage think in order to have something to distribute. This is all allowed for uh, in the strategy. When uh, we were sitting uh, on the other side of the mirror uh, during the focus groups, uh, and we were listening to the uh, debates among, uh, among the um, participants of the focus group, uh, and uh, we got a good beating, good battery, it was a defeat to find out that those people never realized that the European capital of culture had already been opened, had already started, and uh, that was something that taught us to uh, somehow mobilize and be able to change things as things happen. Uh, so emotions feelings, impressions are important. We can put some guidelines and maybe incorporate even our dreams, but then the knowledge is also important and it's first hand um, knowledge, first hand access to information. It's important for the institutions of culture in the city at the level of the city, but it's difficult to identify um, the member of the audience. Is it um, a member of the opera audience or National Forum of Music or someone who uh, goes to see what happens on the embankments? Uh, now, we, we may say we spent quite a lot of uh, time researching the area of culture in Wrocław since 2016. Now, one of the examples of the somehow outcomes or follow-up of the European uh, capital of culture is uh, the New Horizon cinema. Uh, it is a cinema with an ambitious uh, program and uh, younger and elder people as well as school children. Uh, the children in uh, students or pupils of Wrocław schools uh, were invited to take a uh, part in debates, in, in discussions, in the cinema after the screening. Uh, that 
was the first time it happened. It had never happened before. Each schoolgirl, schoolboy who was given a chance to take part of, uh, in, in this sort of exercise is a potential, potential consumer, or, or potential um, participant. Uh, let's remember, I think we will have to chase you out, not to risk your divorce because of your 33rd wedding anniversary. Uh, hello, Jacek Pluta, uh, the co-coordinator. I'm sorry, I'm getting... I'd like to share a comment about Kasia and, and uh, Mr. Dudkiewicz, the man. Depending on how we set the objectives or goals for the European uh, capital of culture, we may try to measure certain things. But ECOC uh, meant consuming culture. In terms of vo volume, it helped to increase, it helped to grow. So people participated over the weekends and then in the course of, uh, in the course of the week, people would not. So the volume and the contact with culture, this is one thing. And uh, we also had the progressive research or surveys. Kasia mentioned that. Uh, we an extended the complexity of participation. We had different types and the number of different types of practicing cultures. So uh, those who didn't do anything, uh, the non-participants, the number of non-participants was falling down. They, those people were transferred to the sort of one, two, three, the mi middle or, uh, categories, uh, three, four, would not move. No, uh, you can see there is a greater probability that someone attended an open event or uh, something else, depending on server. Uh, and that was very difficult to find a breakthrough in structural barriers. We grow older, sometimes we grow poorer, and it's very difficult to get motivation to take part in culture. One of the examples where people get into the state of self-exclusion from culture. It's simply the sort of um, lack of uh, want or need for culture. The ECOC demonstrated that without education, we wouldn't be able to make steps forward. Uh, we completed 2014 practices, 2016-2017 uh, is in the making. Mr. Mayor, you've been um, funding my professional life for the last four years or two years. It's um, important. I, we're afraid that residents are pretty conservative in their understanding of culture. Professionals, there are billions of various definitions and understanding awareness of culture among stakeholders. So, uh, library for books, uh, museums for pieces of art or artifacts. Uh, so back to education, back to square education. It's a heated and fierce debate. Jacek, do you still hold a chance? Do we have any support? I can jump down. Uh, good evening, uh, Robert Gacek. Uh, I believe 
I attended four, the fourth meeting, and there were the sort of pre pre research one. I've never had a word underground. Did you manage, did you come to research the underground? There's lots of things happening around the best, uh, best. Uh, Well, the, the sort of top earning artist is Banksy, it's the top pay list as an artist. So he comes from underground. Did you try to research, to survey anything? I haven't heard of anything else but the National Forum of Music and large events. No. And no, we didn't do that because we couldn't uh, do it. And there is a good reason. I know that the underground is a, a difficult field, but uh, I'm sorry, but I'll have to refuse. Uh, the event is over, and uh, we've never researched the underground. Neither did we research music. Now, the Bibliopolis, in its uh, billion of uh, faces and shades, you've just touched on a very sensitive issue. Uh, resources and uh, capabilities. Uh, at the end, uh, we have a very large inventory. If you'd like to do it in quantity uh, survey, qualitative survey would put us in a situation uh, where we would be asking for another project and we were hard negotiators with Director May. The evaluation was following different lines, different threads, um, and we, but we couldn't measure all the narr narratives. I mentioned the degree of participation, and it was also a measure for us to see how participation was executed depending on different, there were different shades of participation, but we did not Uh, did not touch on the underground. We could see certain phenomena, but there was no good way, cost-wise and organization-wise, in order to be able to explore the underground or to include the underground into the research. And a brief uh, reply to your question. The respondent, the one that replies to my questions, and I was responsible for the institutions of culture and non-NGOs, you can't make them talk. So briefly, people from CRK uh, talk to me, and uh, people from NFM did, or was it the other way around? So. Uh, how many how many events does uh, CRK uh, hold yearly? I've heard 200 events per year. Have you ever attended? Have you ever been there? There are a lot of people from Wrocław and um, not from Wrocław. So would you be interested? I understand what you're telling but it may be worth your while. There is a lot of rotten stuff. Uh, Eva said that uh, she talked to Hubert of CRK, and uh, Eva Kudelska was also there, and uh, NFM uh, refused to take part in the research, in the survey, so they totally Uh, the absolutely independent uh, circles were not ignored. Were not CRK uh, was part of the. I mean, at least we uh, we included it into into our survey. Mm, I'm not sure, but this uh, fluctuation and the. Uh, 
dynamic or rapid development of, uh, of the underground is, may seem to be response or reaction to this festivities, um, authorized festivities, uh, the underground produces a high quality uh, reaction. Uh, the Edinburgh Festival uh, was created in response to the International Festival because the underground artists wanted to show their diversity. So this very rich um, arena of the of the Angra Dan. This may be a good counterpoint for the institutions, uh, for the actors that have been able to build their um, capacity based on ECOC because lots of those institutions uh, were able to build up its audience like uh, the National Forum of Music. Uh, well, it was sometimes from scratch. Now, CRK is a participant. Was, were they a participant of, uh, did they do anything, anything which was part of the official ECOC? No, I don't believe they did anything officially. Well, it is a creative community. I believe that in every and many uh, European capital of culture, we can see a conflict between the independent culture, what is the underground to start, to begin with? A definition, uh, is it an independent culture uh, or partly organized as, as the sort of the third sector of culture? Would it be informal and there, are, there, there is a lot of friction and uh, you also have ex you also experience this friction before, in the course, and after. Uh, Kasia said at the beginning, learn from mistakes and learn from the mistakes of, of the others. This counter ECOC program, uh, like the underground, but perhaps not always the underground, there is this authorized program approved, uh, designed uh, with a cur curator responsible for the narrative. In every capital of culture, uh, there was a reaction in, in, uh, in, the, uh, um, in the form of the underground. And uh, we were warned of them, and we were warned of these attacks. But if we agreed, well, everyone would agree with everyone else and would uh, put everything in, in the authorized program, well, we would have ended with something else. In year 2015 or 2014, when well, tension was at the highest and we were anticipating the attack. And in, uh, in spite of the preparation, we were subjected to, um, to uh, and there were different announcements on the Facebook. We are non-ECOC artists. We do this or that without uh, the ECOC label. But if we try to draw on conflict, to build on the conflict, because the underground will never want to join into a structure. It, but there is a certain value in it, and uh, I believe it's a positive effect. You are the monopolist, or you seem uh, the monopolist. What is your situation and the distribution of forces, uh, the ECOC and the well, okay, it happened sometime, and, and uh, uh, how do you operate today? Well, we are not the monopolies. This is probably one of our achievements. We defined ourselves as a platform with various interests of different circles and communities uh, meeting there, and their organizers and uh, um, uh, the uh, KBF, uh, 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 it used to be a monopoly, the monopolist, but 
it changed. I started working in 2012 in Wrocław. It was a concert under the auspices of the presidents of Poland and Germany uh, with Penderecki conducting and that was this reunion, reconciliation. So uh, one of the uh, projects of uh, uh, ECOC uh, was to do that. It all depends how the city wants to utilize the youth, the enthusiasm of, of the people who were prepared to sort of take this conflict on the chest. Uh, sometimes it's very difficult to work in such circumstances. Um, uh, year 2007 and 2007, before 2007, but in 2007, the stress on, on festivals uh, and the so-called old initiatives were abandoned. Uh, we were the monopolist in those days, but when you start listening, when you can hear things when it's not just a series, not the machine gun, and we just uh, start shooting, but we don't see anything else. We, ca we can't remember the first entry, the first post uh, in the fa on the Facebook. Uh, we, we learned how to make the creative uh, city in the field of literature and uh, cinema. Now we're working on music, and I believe this is a result. Uh, I think we, th there is so much supply. The city is saturated. We are not the only provider or supplier. We need to get engaged in the process of creation when it comes to the development of various events. And we need to uh, restore the stratification of, um, of the audience. Uh, we need to think about, um, about getting uh, people of different ages, young people, old people, how to uh, help us create different events for their age groups. Uh, we don't sell out you know, the box, uh, the ticket box, um, or the ticket office needs to make an effort to do that. On many occasions, we uh, get engaged in the co production. We've got a, an avant garde um, staging of the ballet, uh, Stremes Ballet. Uh, mm, we are not going to pay for them. And there are three institutions Krikoteka, uh, the Nuremberg, uh, Nuremberg House, and there is another institution. And they also uh, cooperate, and uh, we will distribute the uh, earnings. Uh, mm, uh, Having read the thundering hoops about Edinburgh, that there is the, the era of competition is over in culture. That's what they say in the book. We are not in competition. Uh, the openness of Wrocław. Wrocław came out as a, a credible city being open, and we crossed our fingers because everybody would, uh, for Katowice, uh, they, uh, everybody was thinking, well, okay, they visit Katowice, they would visit uh, Kraków to take a photo in the, uh, in the square. Mm, uh, mm, but we work together. We work together uh, uh, to ex extend the ICON uh, network. We are not trying to trace back who had the first idea, who stole the idea from whom. We want to work in a network. Uh, I'm quite convinced to the thesis of urban independence, I mean the independence of the cities, we are, we feel helpless. 
disabled in a way in the face of the sort of global uh, global phenomena. I experienced this cooperation here in Wrocław. Uh, working together is one of the things that we need to learn and the sector needs to mature to be able to do that. Uh, Wrocław is no different from the others. Now, perception, a question to the three of you. Uh, the perception uh, of the ECOC uh, in the sector of culture. Uh, how did the COC invest in them? And what is left when the budget is scarce? This year, the budget is not going to be um, large. And people may be tired, some may be close to a professional burnout. Uh, so is there any rescue system, any emergency, um, emergency response? Before I say anything about the rescue system, um, you, have to, you had to rescue earlier. Uh, now, well, the ECC was fantastic when it, it was splendid, but I want to thank uh, all the... Uh, co-workers uh, who until April 2016 drinking beer with uh, the friends or drinking uh, sitting at home they had to explain the question why why this uh, why do you do it you got uh, several hundreds of millions of water and you spend it on, on walking dead all around the city these were real discussions and those who stayed there were many who who left, they uh, got a very good lesson of life and a very good experience. Uh, this is what Robert said. Today, you, can, you cannot estimate it. It's, you cannot evaluate it. It's a fresh experience. It is not, not noticed yet. It, it's, it is not appreciated because we are still running. Uh, the ECC has uh, ended and uh, we are less uh, in our office. But if you ask persons, uh, uh, dealing with grants, whether they have rested now, they still think about the about programs, about the development programs are uh, being developed in uh, neighborhoods. I don't know whether there is any rescue system necessary. Uh, you have to consider good effects of the ECC and to develop them further. And it would be best. I mean, the experienced people have stayed, not all of them could stay, but many people of our office who co-organized the ECC, they now are working in other institutions of culture. I got many calls, Krzysztof, I need this, I need that, because somebody gets retired, somebody is going away. And what is the value of this rescue system? Is that people know each other, but these are not directors. They are in par parallel positions in institutions of culture and the networking will take place not according to the principle of uh, competition but uh, according to the principle of looking for common projects and combining your potentials and I think the rescue system can be created from the top and so we foresee different uh, activities uh, uh, the strategy, uh, well, the document should not be called a strategy, and it's good, it's not called a strategy, it's a compass, it's it's a map, it's a road map to create culture in Wrocław, it's a short-term map, it shows different mechanisms, but first, we should uh, see whether something uh, works. I mean, the collegial relationships, people who have gone through a fight, through a war, uh, this was a sort of military exercise for the guys to organize the ECC. Some directors will of course go and some will be replaced by the other people and uh, within several years this will become the biggest value. I don't know whether we have to construct any uh, rescue system. You need to support the processes that have stayed with us. That's my opinion. We have colleagues from Gdańsk and uh, we talked about Katowice for a while and um, we were considering uh, which cities will apply 
to the ECC in uh, three years, in a three years' time, uh, whether those who um, uh, lost, uh, whether they will gather uh, power to apply again. For us, uh, for people in Krakow, it meant a lot. We learned a lot. We read the programs. We saw how state of the art uh, the thinking can be. New trends in culture were visible, and this was what we not always saw in uh, Krakow, which is conservative. Uh, you know, we had always welcomed Krzysztof Penderecki to a concert or Krystyna Zachwiatowicz. Uh, there are certain customs that we really care about very much in Krakow. But this new approach, uh, audience development, participation, sharing, cooperation, these are words that we have introduced uh, since uh, that time in the culture management uh, thanks to this uh, competition. And thanks to what uh, was happening in Lublin, in Gdańsk, in Katowice, so there, there was a fantastic if effect uh, on the level of reflection in cities which may seem saturated uh, in terms of culture. They are, but uh, they always require uh, auto-reflection and a critical approach. Uh, I can encourage you to carry out research uh, like, uh, like this. We, we only started researching into culture only recently, and this is the, 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 the precondition uh, to, to reshape different cultural programs. Uh, they have to be changed and modified, and they have to refer to something new, and this is what we are doing in Krakow. So this is also another effect of the ECC in Wrocław uh, for the other cities who were part of the competition. Uh, I have the following problem which uh, has appeared here yet another time when talking about the effects of ECC. We use different measures when talking about the participation of the audience, of the inhabitants of the residents. Other measures uh, are envisioned uh, when we talk about the workers of culture. We talk about experience uh, and uh, networking. Uh, uh, when, why, why do we need uh, higher education? Why so many? Why, to, why having so many when there is no job market for them? However, research shows that independent, regardless of uh, the degree of education, it is always better uh, in your life to be highly educated because you manage well. Uh, a absolute condition of, I mean, the absolute result of, um, of the ECC is that uh, Wrocław invested in the staff. Wherever they go, they will manage. And I think when new forms of participation in culture emerge and they will be suggested by them, they will have the competence to find and to get and to, and to involve the, the audience. They are the engines for the audience. They sort of draw the mass of the audience behind them. In terms of success, successes and failures of the ECC, I need it is worthwhile to say that, and Kasia said that as well, and we should stress it again, we are afraid of talking about culture. We are talking about, rather talking about cultures uh, in plural. But another thing is that what the ECC showed evidently is how important is the socialization of culture. So we are fighting at, against the consumerism society because paradoxically a, a society gives us the possibility to participate in culture at home, at home, smartphone. But you don't go to you don't go to. Um, to talk to, to the guys on the block. So there is the TV set, but it doesn't replicate, it doesn't uh, show you the, the, the pulse of the city. Uh, the the, the ludic, ludic culture uh, was the basic form of socialization, and it was also necessary, but we also observed, Kasia, uh, that activities proved very, very well, very good. I mean, if certain forms of participation in culture have uh, a certain ritual, they are ritual in nature, you know, like those awakening walks. This was, uh, this was uh, such an excitement, uh, and this was reflected in the comments. We got two and a half thousand uh, questionnaires after the, the awakening uh, over the internet. So 
we were so astonished and and the sense of uh, this this uh, responses was that regardless of what Krzysztof said uh, that uh, at the end there was a controlled disaster at the end and uh, thanks to this uh, uh, there was talk all the, all the, all over the place about it but uh, uh, and then we ask ourselves the question, where was the identity of Wrocław? And then all of a sudden it emerged. Why is culture important? Because the conferences are also for the purpose to open up our eyes to certain things. And on the first day, there was a contribution of uh, our German colleague. She was talking about uh, the, the context of culture and uh, social functions of culture in the multicultural situation. And uh, what she presented uh, was that it is uh, good to produce passionately certain cultural content to create social cohesion. That's another element apart from the socialization. They are combined. But if people have to refer to something and if they want to understand the world, they do it through the culture, they should not always refer to Thomas Mann. Thomas Mann, that's absurd. This is as if we tried to explain, the, explain our reality uh, with our ancient kings. Right, so the, the culture has to be progressive in a way. It is strong by delivering interpretation keys, uh, but also by delivering the sense of identity and cohesion, even if not everybody agrees with it. But let me go back. We know that, that culture, in a sense, uh, helps us uh, on a daily basis and how perfect at all it can be but coming back uh, and asking you maybe you are willing to contribute are oh, you are far away Łukasz Pakoła hi okay I've taken some notes well, first of all, I need to say that uh, in the very beginning, what, what struck me uh, in the context of the ECC was a very uh, interesting uh, visual identification. This deserves, this deserves to be proud, to, to boast about. This is very visible. Compared to Denmark, at the first glance, uh, that one is not really very legible and uh, hardly understandable. Denmark this year is the European, I mean a city in Denmark is the ECC this year. Another thing is the ECC uh, was terminated some time ago and in uh, social media it was communicated. The organizer thanks, to, thanks for the participation in the event. But we know very well that many programs are going on, are continued the ECC goes on, and I myself, since I was striving to obtain a grant within the micro-grant uh, programs and I talked to the residents, the residents persisted in saying that the, that the European uh, Capital of Culture has finished and that I start talking about it again. So this is, this is a matter that may maybe should be considered to make the residents aware of the fact that this topic has not finished. And in terms of uh, the contribution by Mr. Dudkiewicz, I agree that you can say that this is not clearly defined because the, uh, in principle every European city should have the chance to present its uh, historical heritage. The founder, shall I end? I don't know what, what does it mean. Uh, I mean, the, the founder uh, of the program said it was about presenting the historical heritage. In Wrocław, it was rather about uh, presenting space for beauty. That's, that's a completely different subject. And the third subject is uh, the micro-grant program and out of which I learned that it was not about presenting uh, the historical heritage or pressing for space for beauty, but uh, there was a completely different uh, third zone. Uh, it is about treating culture as a tool to strengthen 
uh, culture as a knowledge, as a bond creating uh, tool uh, between the residents. I'm outside of it completely. I, 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 I didn't uh, follow all the projects and books and so on, so I, I was disoriented in a way. But I, I, I'm, I'm very supportive and I'm very happy that Wrocław was nominated to be the ECC. Thank you. Uh, just to respond, sure, it shouldn't terminate. If there is any communication that it has finished, uh, I encourage you not to, because this is the mistake of Krakow. Yes, we once were the capital uh, of culture of Europe uh, for a year, but this is just the beginning, and what we have discussed uh, this evening, and the effect of uh, ECC of the ECC, Wrocław, as far as I know, Wrocław and Kraków and many other cities have the title to boast about it and uh, to create a mandate for uh, cultural policies out of it. Well, in terms of heritage, yes, this used to be. However, the European diversity and the, in, uh, the, the city and uh, its residents, these are the two factors of the European capital of culture. And this uh, was successfully achieved uh, here. Uh, this was successfully achieved uh, because one of the residents uh, just uh, has uh, stood up and demanded not to terminate the ECC. I don't know what uh, media, social media communication you mentioned, but uh, we still have all the profiles, uh, microgrants uh, are operating, uh, residences are developing. Uh, for the the good results of the uh, residence program, the president gave us uh, a, bl a house uh, in the city center for the residents and also the icon residents who cannot freely create in their own countries. They are repressed, uh, they have to flee, they are hosted here in Wrocław as well. So this conference, which uh, is about to finish, the purpose of it and the, the purpose of the evaluation is to show what is worthwhile to continue and to, to go on performing and so we announced today that our institution will be reshaped uh, in the next session using the example of Krakow. We will change our name from festival office. We don't want to be associated with the pistol-like uh, calendar of events, but we will enter the area of cooperation with residents to get them involved, to co-create the culture for them, to get involved in co-creation of culture. So this would be a wider field for our institution to operate on, rather than uh, festivals or mass events that we organize. Okay, uh, to round up. Uh, what will stay for clear out of the best experiences and what would you not rather not repeat, Krzysztof? Events, uh, actions, activities that you know they were not the best, not to the point, uh, not corresponding to the character of the city. What will stay a hundred percent? Well, there are no events that we wouldn't repeat, uh, but you cannot uh, have a feast every year. You cannot have a celebration every year. Of course, it is worthwhile to repeat such an experiment. It would be worthwhile to repeat it in several years, in a dozen of years. We like celebrations, and uh, what you just said, the ECC has uh, just finished. Uh, so we have ticked it off. Thank you. That was it. Uh, there is this feeling, and Jacek uh, has tried to explain it that the participation in at, at uh, in the level one, three, three, like I, I attended three times or I attended four times, five times, and then it didn't go higher. So my interpretation is, okay, uh, I attended five events. Okay, that's ticked off. I was the member of the ECC. That might be the feeling, but there is no event that I would not repeat within the ECC. I, there is no project that I wouldn't repeat within the ECC. What will stay 
is, according to me, and what is happening now, is the opening up of the cultural institutions to external cooperation. The National Forum of Music, who rejected to be examined, but uh, the National Forum of Music opened up for cooperation with the NGOs. It was not possible to organize any uh, any like rock events in the NFM. Uh, so NFM is opening up, but the majority of the institutions in Wrocław want to cooperate and to open up for the others to co-organize different events using the potential and the resources, the ideas of uh, external partners. And uh, this uh, is starting to happen. In our institution, many projects like this are being uh, performed. Micrograms uh, will stay, they will be developed, expanded, uh, not they will be dispersed. Uh, they not will not be concentrated in Barbara. They will be dispersed uh, in, uh, f in 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 many f corners far away from the center, like uh, Lipa Piotrkowska. There is a village next to Wrocław. Uh, also, the residences will stay. They are developing. These are not only artistic residences, but the whole mobility of culture, the mobility of animators in culture. There is this observatorium of culture, meaning uh, using the knowledge uh, stemming from research. I hope that uh, the president will uh, sponsor uh, your whole professional life and uh, that such res research will be done in Wrocław. We are striving to be a competence center for other ECCs to share our knowledge, not only here in Wrocław. Also, a formal process, a reporting process, the preparation process that you that you submit to Brussels and then you testify uh, in front of a commission, you respond to difficult questions, why you deviate from your application, why do you modify it, that, you know, this is all about soft support, how to talk to volunteers, uh, so, Anybody can come here and share our experiences. Uh, in Krakow, um, th there was this thinking. Uh, nine, there were nine ECCs in 2009. Why have we lost contact with them? Wrocław has uh, 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 signed contracts with the other cities, and this is developing. We want to develop residences uh, with the cities. To, uh, we will get networked so that uh, we have international exchange because this is uh, this is uh, and uh, this, this enlivens you enlivens you and uh, we are repeating this ritual this is necessary but if we fail to see it uh, in other locations i mean if if we don't uh, vent this space then there won't be an exchange and uh, uh, the air will become stalemate. The whole voluntary system within the ECC, constructed for several years, this is an enormous crowd of people who co-created the ECC and the volunteers come, approach us and say, well, hey, we want to do something. There is a lot of work for them. They help here. Uh, with this conference, uh, these are ambassadors of culture, actually. They say, yeah, that was worthwhile to work for the culture. And what uh, has happened in Wrocław, what happened in Wrocław, uh, which was not underscored uh, here in the discussion, culture as a sacrum, as a celebration, uh, has been changed. This notion has been changed. Like uh, previously, people would say, oh, I'm going to the opera house, so I need a nice clothes, and I have to send the kids away to grandma. Uh, that was the, the celebration art uh, for culture. Now, you have a lot of events in the neighborhoods, and you, you go to, to the movie theater, Nove Horizonte, uh, to a workshop. This is also a kind of participation in culture. Maybe this was not a one-off uh, action, but uh, culture has left its pedestal. President said, "Yeah, he is seeing people in the National Forum of Music who have never been there before. 
So this all has opened up uh, the opera house, uh, musical theatres, theatres, cinemas. Uh, uh, there are other cultural <laughs> events like like uh, a, a gathering of little toys, right? So, oh, the, the, sorry, uh, the fluffy toys and. Um, uh, a, a, a gathering of fluffy toys with some offer, how to spend free time, uh, it's about meeting, uh, well maybe I put away my smartphone I switch off the TV and I go out to meet somebody uh, out there, it doesn't have to be supported uh, by institutions uh, or, um, I don't want to call it underground but uh, this doesn't have to be done by any institution, this is just happening May I just share one observation, and it's pretty amazing. Um, one of the greatest shocks in Wrocław was first. It was not root grass process. When you started working on the strategy, the document, the, this current culture. You know, this is not a strategy. There will be a roadmap, really. This roadmap. I was quite surprised. Uh, when uh, you talk about the process, openness, uh, going out to the streets and the things that happened in other cities, thanks to the European capital of punk culture, Wrocław opened to a new Thing, something else, and began a process. It somehow happened in the reverse order. Most of the cities started working on the strategies, launched the strategies, and uh, keeps on evaluating them. In your case, the process some was triggered in a different way. My impression is that it is about to begin or it has just been commenced. Uh, how the audience changes and uh, what is happening. We need 10 more years. Those cities, the cities that were not winners, they had to focus on something. We won and uh, that was pretty traumatic. We had to set ourselves an objective and goal and uh, then we wanted to attain the goal you say that this is the effect of ECOC the fact that we have beaches on the uh, Odra river maybe we were lucky in Wrocław that was the right time for us good timing but we the city made a leap uh, and is it really the mayor, the mayor has mentioned that uh, is it the effect of or the impact of ECOC or something else in a few years time we'll be able to see it now uh, have we been persuaded by ourselves but certainly due to the ECOC the tourist traffic have grown. Well, many people undermine that. Uh, at the end of September, it was difficult to find. Uh, I, I, I check the booking com uh, in Bardo, in Oava. The hotels were available there, smaller, smaller cities and villages. So everything, everything was booked. And the prices of, the hotel, of hotel rooms have increased. And uh, they are all booked. Uh, new hotels have been opened and they are all full, all sold out. Uh, in Krakow, we, deal, we are responsible for the whole Congress territory. The infrastructure was available in 2013. Uh, the European Capital of Culture never left any any infrastructure. It's now that we hear the thought, spirituality and creativity, this motto of the Isoi in Krakow. 
people come over to Krakow to discuss the important things, in, the things that are important in, um, in a human perspective for the humanity. So tourism, tourism may be a threat. I've just returned from Lvov. Uh, they held a very beautiful festival of Lower Silesia, lots of Wrocław. It's absolutely great what you've done for Lvov and uh, it actually has a follow-up, and Lvov is booked in, and you need to pay 120 euro, and uh, they put on nice facade, they put up buildings, and the city soon may be devoid of authentic life. In Krakow, uh, the center had uh, 13,000 residents, actual residents. Now we have 700 people who live permanently are registered as residents of, um, of Krakow. So tourism is not always the best thing to happen. We can't measure the success um, with tourism. Now, you got your institutions engaged and the underground may be present, at least it's in competition. Is the business involved? Uh, uh, now, we in Krakow are approached uh, with questions, as much as in Braga in Portugal. Uh, I mean, what are you going to organize anything? Or perhaps, unlike, sorry, unlike in the situation in Braga, in Portugal, where they have those nights and uh, they uh, open restaurants, but they open restaurants for the, um, their staff, uh, and uh, the money comes from, uh, from the city, the money comes from the budget, and the money will be used, however, Everything is booked in and there, there is no space for more tourism. So on one hand side, the city is willing because there are tourists. On the other hand, it's danger. In Gdańsk, the number of hostels, so impressive. In Lvov, every second year I... Um, uh, every second year I visit Lvov and they are booked in. Uh, it's the effect of Ryanair rather than ECOC. How to use the car, to how to get the insight. Things happened at the time of ECOC, but how can we protect the actual life in the city? When I was on my way here, uh, I saw exactly the same picture, the boys um, on the, sur the, surfing, the surfers. Uh, so the city lives through its institution like, very much like Barbara. Now, the final uh, request um, from me, we're talking about the city, but the city's districts are also very important. The document, the present culture, and the content of this document, and sort of big request from me, uh, Let's meet in five years' time, you, and what time would you like? And then we could discuss the ECOC success. So what do you need to happen over the next five years to say that ECOC was a success? What would be success? in the five years of perspective. I'm not asking Krzysztof Maj, general director of IMPACT. I'm asking Krzysztof Maj as a resident of Wrocław. In five years' time, what do you need to happen looking around? I don't know. We're supposed to be talking about ECOC. I don't know what I want. Maybe. I, maybe I want a debate, uh, maybe people, uh, there are all skaters, 
uh, in front of Barbara Barra with no stuck parties uh, from the UK. Uh, I want it to happen in Krzyki, in Lipa Piotrowska, in Jagodno. We maybe a street party shared by the local community or organized by the local community. I come from a small uh, town. My neighbor knew anything and everything about, she knew my grades, she knew what I studied. Uh, people used to know a lot about each other because they talked to each other. And now, in a block of flats, in a high-rise building, uh, you don't know anything. You just know which floor people get off. Perhaps you just we can sort of convert into real neighbors. In five years' time, uh, I won't be uh, IMPART uh, director. IMPART is going to disappear in a month's time. Uh, these are very, very difficult. This is a very difficult question. I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, it's very difficult to answer the question now. I want uh, my friends who work for culture would not be forced uh, to leave the city to immigrate. A couple of my friends have left Wrocław already. I want them to find jobs, jobs in the line of work, line of their profession, uh, and I want them to and their living, uh, be uh, able to afford a flat. Or. In Krakow, we have the same problem. I think it's very, we've already said about, about uh, making culture the sort of shared and communal experience. We want residents to engage and uh, work together in the creation of culture and we want to use the language of culture that we've just learned. We need to keep in touch with the world and uh, European um, communities of culture and this big stage. We want to get involved uh, in different projects, but don't overdo that. We all wanted international, we wanted to host international festivals. Festivals. Today, we want street parties and food track festivals. Uh, we, but we should be, uh, we should be uh, aware of the danger, sort of. Um, the balance, keeping the balance, the right balance, not only Avignon, Bergen, Ghent, or Vienna, not necessarily New York. They should be used as models. Uh, stay away. Keep off New York and London. Find your own way. Being the European uh, capital of culture, you're a secondary city and accept it when you look at large urban centers. In Wrocław, things happen in a reverse order. The communalization of culture, uh, this grassroots initiatives were the result, and this is fantastic, that the city can give the impulse, my trigger, um, trigger the resources or release the res discharge the resources uh, in order to carry out. I want three things to happen in in a sort of greater volume: Educa cultural education, cultural education, and cultural education. I think this it may happen at the three levels. I we want to get independent from this structure. I'm dreaming of 
the situation where we know that if, if people use the uh, the building of, of, of the failed harmonics and there are some other users we just can tell that these people do not belong to the to this building we want to in a way change and stay open and accept anyone in this building be inclusive the education would probably bring yet one more effect our understanding of culture and our expectation of culture it's I don't want to use it, the education, as a hammer mm, to hammer nails down. Uh, this is what I, this is my wish or my dream. Well, I've been given uh, the greatest uh, amount of time in order to invent something exciting. Do something with the NFM. Uh, the square in front of the National uh, Forum of Music. I want it to be revived. Uh, not everywhere. He brought some pictures from another city. There are security people there. But they let let you enter. Another thing, that this is a, a, a rep repetition of what Kasia said. I want that everybody has his, has his, her own culture and for himself or herself. Uh, when we're talking about the present culture, this has uh, evolved uh, from this slogan, culture, stupid. The narrative that you are, are, are mentioning, uh, we know that, but the fact that I told you that, that it is important that culture has contributed to social um, coherence, cohesion, uh, culture is important in the meaning that it should be as uh, significant as food, you know, and, and the like. But this is my, this is my wish. Uh, for me, it would suffice if culture does not have to justify itself. It would be good in five years if we didn't have to talk about uh, uh, the fact that it is worthwhile to spend money on culture, that it has to generate effects. Uh, uh, when we spend money on economy, nobody has to justify it because this is self-evident and the same should apply uh, to culture, which is still not the case. So that's the poorer uh, sister of the other sectors of uh, public life. Professor Hausner once said economy is a part of culture and you need to help uh, the economists to understand it. Anybody else? Any wishes? Any other wishes? Any projections for Wrocław? And so, I wish myself and uh, to you, all you wish yourselves, I would wish uh, myself less competitions and, and, well, less ECC. I'm not a fan of this initiative anymore. I used to be. Just after Krakow was the ECC, which doesn't have anything to do with uh, Krakow. Now I'm not anymore, so if I could. Sure, there has a lot of good stuff happened, but quite a lot of bad stuff, uh, not only in Poland, but also in other cities in Europe. There are ruins and destruction, and not only the fantastic effects of the ECC. So I wish ourselves more cooperation, and this is competi This is a competition. And although the the rules of the game are clear, they are not always clear for everyone, and they are not transparent enough. So I wish myself uh, that this celebration should last not only for a year, but it should never end. The budget uh, for the celebration should become become a standard for culture. It should not be something festive. And you, I mean to you and to Wrocław, when I come here back again in five years, I wish to you to have 
freedom, but a freedom in the form of a strategy. The strategy should have clearly delineated uh, objectives so that uh, your evaluation uh, is better, so that you know according to what measures to assess the success. You should like each other, independent of uh, whether you are from an institution or an NGO, you work for the same city and for the same success, which is clearly defined. So this is what I wish you. And I hope, I hope that according to to the to the assumptions of the present culture, this will this will be distributed to the neighbourhood uh, and will not only be focused on the centre. By the way, I thank you for the invitation and I thank you for the three years of cooperation. We have agreed, we have disagreed. Disagreed. It was different, but. Uh, when have we agreed? But it was always uh, interesting. Uh, thank you. Uh, there are many partnerships uh, that I that I uh, met that I have met uh, a lot of friends that I've, I have gained, and I want to thank you for this uh, using this opportunity, and also to the National Forum of Music for for taking uh, over the burden of the WPR to all those who have invested a lot of work for this to happen and uh, to the residents who uh, have who, who would start which to this uh, uh, difficult year and uh, I wish you of course a very good weekend as well on behalf of the organizers, I would like to thank you as well. I thank uh, the, the participants of uh, the conference, uh, the city and the culture, and I wish you a good night.